3.9. Our first caller this evening is Andy. Hi, Andy. What's your tip for being positive? Hello. Well, I think it's very important to live in the present and not in the past. Don't think about mistakes you made in the past. You can't change the past. The important thing is to think about how you can do things better now and in the future. Thank you, Andy. And now we have another caller. What's your name, please? Hi, my name's Julie. My tip is think positive thoughts, not negative ones. We all have negative thoughts sometimes, but when we start having them, we need to stop and try to change them into positive ones. Like, if you have an exam tomorrow and you start thinking, I'm sure I'll fail, then you'll fail the exam. So you need to change that negative thought to a positive thought. Just think to yourself, I'll pass. I do this and it usually works. Thank you, Julie. And our next caller is Marco. Hi, Marco. Hi. My tip is don't spend a lot of time reading the papers or watching the news on TV. It's always bad news and it just makes you feel depressed. Read a book or listen to your favorite music instead. Thanks, Marco. And our next caller is Miriam. Miriam? Hi. Hi, Miriam. What's your tip? My tip is every week make a list of all the good things that happen to you. Then keep the list with you in your bag or in a pocket. And if you're feeling a little sad or depressed, just take it out and read it. It'll make you feel better. Thanks, Miriam. And our last call is from Michael. Hi, Michael. We're listening. Hi. My tip is to try to use positive language when you speak to other people. You know, if your friend has a problem, don't say, I'm sorry, or, oh, poor you. Say something positive like, don't worry, everything will be okay. That way you'll make the other person think more positively about his or her problem. Thank you, Michael. Well, that's all we have time for. A big thank you to all our callers. Until next week, goodbye.